I'm Cahill. We are students from St. Flannan's College in Ennis and this is how we think electric cars should be taxed in the future and duties raised. I'm very interested in electric cars as my parents have an electric car. Hello, my name is Pat and this is the explanation. Our ideas are based around the car's SIM and Wi-Fi enabled onboard computer. A special mini computer key fob and an account the driver set up with an electricity company. Electricity car users will pay duty on the electricity electricity they use when external charging their car. There will be a levy on each kilowatt hour used unit on of electricity used. The levy amount will be set at a level to make a car cheaper to run on electricity than petrol or diesel. Cars can be charged at points installed on the ground of their home, at on street parking bays, fuel stations and specially designed car parks for park and ride. After charging users will swipe their key fob at the charging point. This will send encrypt information to their electricity car charging account. The information will also be stored on the Identifying the account holder. A fingerprint reader will be inserted into the steering wheel of the car to identify who's driving the car. This feature will also allow the owner of the car to add family members to their electricity provider account. Low added drivers will, have, will need to have their fingerprints loaded onto the system. All information will be encrypted. Motor tax. Motor tax will have two components. The first based on the number, number of kilometers the car is driven annually. The second will be a fixed charge. Will be a fixed charge. The amount will depend on whether the vehicle is used for non-commercial, commercial or agricultural purposes. Credits you can earn. Park and ride facilities will be constructed on the edge of towns and cities and will help reduce traffic congestion, pollution and, make pe and help make people healthier. Dedicated cycle routes will be constructed throughout the towns and cities to have bicycles will be available which can be unlocked using the key fob. The bicycle has been cycled within the town or city limits and electricity credits can be gained from for each kilometer cycle. Are the cost benefit analysis. So the cost would be it would provide a better infrastructure because it would provide charging points at fuel stations in public and in private and it would provide park and ride facilities. They could make it so that the future cost of electric cars equals the cost of conventional cars. The motor tax could be based on annual mileage. And then the benefits would be that health benefits would increase, health would increase due to cycling, air quality would improve and we would reduce our carbon 